across the board. And if you need my address to send me my winnings, you let me know. <laughs> All right, folks, here we go on boxes. The first down, the first two kills goes to end zone. Rise, they're off to a high start, making you look like, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, the smartest man in this lobby right now, Frank. <laughs> you, know, I was gonna... you know what? I, I, I wish I could I was claim that, but I know that I'm not because I know that, <laughs> like, like our, uh, our producer's observing and that sort of thing. So I already know he's got me beat there. So uh, maybe second at best, but we'll have to see how it all plays out. You know, that's the fun thing about granular specific predictions is you can get proven real right or real wrong real quick. And here it is. Handles in a cells, tying it right back up. So maybe I start sweating a little bit now. Maybe you do. Maybe you do. That round, BQ playing off the aggression there of Verize. Able to get the initial kill, take a textbook 2v1 right afterwards. Just angling out the last player and they get us all tied up one-on-one. -on -one. So last time we was on this map, we talked a lot about the front spawns having a lot of power here. But we see a lot of a two split 1v1s on each side of these pillars now. It's Rise with a little height advantage here, having to force handles back. But because they forced him back, the sales had to move forward. And he was able to play his right hand as the members of Rise was moving up. Kind of caught him off guard there. And VQ gets two rounds in a row. Okay. VQ stepping it up. And, you know, that might be that patient gameplay. Kind of reading their opponent. Able to take a step back and just watch... Avexis and Enzim run at them and adjust accordingly. So, you know, if this continues, it might be on Enzim and Avexis to make those adjustments, maybe slow their own gameplay down, and that might, you know, be tough for them when they're used to playing so quickly and so aggressively. Now, this could be bad for VQ, oh, stuck in their spawn. It could, it could be. So we talked about this last time, that if you're in this position and your opponent plans on getting both pistols picked up, you have to rush one side at the right time. And usually, typically, these teams will rush to the direction as soon as their um, opponent picks it up. So it's like a two-second gap there where he cannot shoot. So they choose to go right. Avexis backs up. He knows not to get caught out there. And now Enzim has the pistol to work with. VQ not able to capitalize on Avexis, but they can't give him a free angle towards their right side. They have to make quick work of Enzim, and that's what Handles does. Gets his team off to a little advantage. But even though Avexis was able to take out Handles, Assails, Quickly springs into action with the rap shot. Three rounds in a row for VQ. Yeah, VQ really surprising me off the start here. And um, but you know, we saw that play from them before in the first semifinal. They were able to bait those pistols out. Uh, and even being at the disadvantage, we saw Rise able to pick up one of those pistols. VQ didn't claim anything for themselves, but simply collapsed down, communicated, and team worked their way through it and made that round happen. And they are on a tear here in map number one. Avexis and Enzo may be wondering what's going to go on. What's happening? What can they do to adjust? And maybe it's just getting aggressive, getting in their face, all on handles to make the play. But it's going to be Avexis and Enzo cleaning them up to keep this within one round. Yeah, rightfully so cleaning them up. Um, Asels, you know, made a risky play there trying to push between two players of Rise. Now, even though Enzo was trapped in the trenches, Avexis was on the same level as him, and he had a right-hand advantage, so... Um, he went down right away after that, and Ryus was able to take the 2v1 at the end. Oh, Avexis caught his sails as he was climbing up. Gets his team that one-man advantage, and now they quickly make work of the handles there. Yeah, VQ looking a little shaky. I think it was all, you know, Avexis and Enzim needed was, was to throw them off their game plan a little bit. Slow that momentum down, because I think Avexis and Enzim, definitely the most momentum-based 2v2 squad we have seen in Astro Battle. So, going to be interesting to see how VQ can potentially adjust, potentially not. And if a Vexi and Ensign can start running away with this one, we see them control of that pillar, forcing handles back, going to rotate all the way into spawn. Ensign tries to hunt that one oh. down, but rightfully backs up, baits out his cells, getting Whoa, taken down, handles. tries to get the revive. Saved him. Whoop. Wait a minute. Can he make something happen here? Woo -hoo -hoo. Now, Big time play. That was... A risky shot there uh, at the end by Handles, too. But he knew Enzoom was pretty weak, so he goes for the rap shot. Enzoom, you know, based off the direction he was playing, he really had to come off that cover, and he couldn't uh, turn around in time. But the big play was the Vex. He's missing the kill on the ground. Yeah. All right? He had a, a sales dead to rice. He just couldn't capitalize. Yeah. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, you get in those pressure situations. Again, grand finals, points on the line, $1,000 for first place. A lot of things to get nervous about here. And then you got Avexis and Enzim 
breathing down your neck, that's just going to add to that pressure. So, you know, great patience, great play out of VQ and finding themselves stuck in spawn again, but they seem to make this work for Not themselves alone. time after time. Exactly. Once those pistols are up, they break out, make the play. Pistols are up. Saw a Vic <laughs> in some kind of dart across towards that mid box, tries to set up for it, read the play, read the push. They do have the, the pistol here. Enzim was weak, but Avexis, he knew exactly who his target was as both players tried to focus on Enzim. Avexis was able to take out um, a sales there, and then his teammate joined the fight on the last player. But uh, Pistol spawned 30 seconds within the round. So if we see a little stalemate like that, it's not going to be for long, as we saw VQ having to, having to really leave that spawn there and try to capitalize off their opponent picking them up. Because these players know how to find any advantage in which they can get, even the most smallest ones. Vexies finding it all on his shoulders yet again, unable to do anything in that 2v1. Both players for VQ just very healthy. Didn't have to worry about running or, or, or getting knocked out. So VQ going to have the one round advantage now. And I think this plays into their hand a little bit. I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong. And I think VQ, the stronger second half team, I think you know, Rise relies on a lot of that momentum, the round leads, and it's going to be interesting how they adapt to this pressure now because we saw through semifinal number one that VQ can clutch up these rounds when they get close. Handle's making a good play all on a Vexies yet again. Yeah, but Asales was really the superstar of that round. He had a 1v1 against a Vexies to start. He left his 1v1, took down and zoom backed up, put some more damage down to Vexies, and, you know, he would have down him sooner if he didn't have to reload, but at that point, VQ just took their time because they know at some point a Vexies is going to try to charge them to go for a one-shot where he comes down to open and can make a play or they just, you know, take time angling him out, chipping away at that damage, but this time around, a Vexies gets first blood. Nice back, hey. Handles goes down, and that's going to be a Rise win. All right, so here's Rise, and yeah, this is great. Uh, similar to that first semifinal, very close, back and forth. Um, and Avexis and Insom, I feel like they haven't really gotten that momentum, you know, in their favor yet. That 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 long stretch of rounds. So this is, I think, playing into BQ's hand a little bit. The cells and handles able to play it a little bit more tactfully, slow down the aggression that we've seen so often out of Avexis and Insom. But really, it only takes one. It only takes a few. Great flank from the cells. They're going to make a huge play, wrap around onto Avexis and end that one. So with Sales and Avexis, uh, they have a 1v1 between each other, but that time uh, they end up leaving their fight to go flank their opponent. Now, the thing is, is that they made it to their targets at the same time based off the positioning of where Handles was in the far back corner of those tracks. So Sales was able to get the kills quicker and make the play on Avexis before he was able to clean up Handles. Here's Enzim getting a little bit of revenge on handles. The Vexi's going to clean it up, take down Acels as well. So great job from Rise. Just, I mean, staying in there. To me, what like watching these rounds, it, it always looks like VQ is somewhat in control. But Rise has been doing a great job of just capitalizing on those tiny moments, those little openings that VQ is allowing them and keeping these rounds close. All right, let's see who's going to get first blood in this round. It may be Acels. He put a lot of damage on the Vexi's handles. Thought he can capitalize off the call out, but if Vexies was waiting for him, he gets a, another rap shot there off his left hand. And that's all about great timing when you're playing off your left hand, um, like we just saw him do. And great round there to Vexies because he was getting pressured and he was the focus of VQ, but he was ready for it. Yeah, yeah, just good stuff. Good stuff all around. We'll see the Vexies on this break yet again. Seems to be catching fire just a little bit. Tough little shots, great movement from Acels, and Acels is going to charge up, gets the trade. It's going to be Enzum, the last man standing, able to clean up that final player to take the round lead back after getting three rounds straight. This is where you start getting a little bit nervous against these particular Rise boys as uh, they favor that momentum three in a row. Are they going to close it out right here? I hope so. But I hope I win the predictions, but again, <laughs> I put that on myself. I have to I have yes, to also did. acknowledge that you know I, I dug you my own hole. Line. Right? Yes yeah. you did. And I and I and I picked VQ. And this time around they made me proud as a sales is able to get this back A on the Vexies on the box. Now Enzum 
left here in a in a 1v2 and handles back down quickly because the have been working on these last few rounds uh but this time around it's gonna be bq here so it seems like this map is coming down between the battle of avexes and a sales depending on whatever side of the map in which they're playing on and uh it's not gonna really matter because they're both symmetrical to the team and uh we'll see here if enzim can make a play quicker before vexies gets focused because he's gonna Ooh. focus right now but this time a vexies was ready for him yeah just that quick damage it, it, it almost like it's it's coming down to not even that first push not even the first down it's the first shot do you hit that first shot? And that has opened up everything. So here is make or break time for VQ. Rise is on match point. They only need one to keep my dream alive and their dream alive as well. So we'll have to see. On board with the Vexies misses that first shot. That first shot has been critical, but rushes right in. Able to take down his cells. Tries to get a little bit of damage on handles. Now the 1v1, but ends up right there for the follow-up. And that's going to be Rise taking map number one rise they come out swinging here